If elected, what would you do to help continue to promote job growth and grow Florida's economy? Well, we have tremendous human capital in the state of Florida, and I think it's the mission of all of us who are trying to serve to perpetuate that and to build on it. So what I would do is to make sure that at all entry points into the career ladder, people have the tools they need to succeed. That means incentives and training for mid-career workers. We have such a tremendous blessing of folks who come to Florida later in life after having accumulated a lot of experience in one field who can add to many of the industries that are growing here. And so one focus of my time in office will be to advocate zealously on behalf of mid-career workers who with just a little bit more training can really seize the opportunities that are presented in our very vibrant economy. How would you improve Florida's healthcare situation? Healthcare is something I feel very passionately about. My wife is a physician. She's an internal medicine doctor, also a pulmonary and critical care specialist. And so she uh, spends a lot of time in intensive care units where a lot of the spiraling costs of healthcare is felt at the most tragic times, at the end of life, when he healthcare issues can be ruinously expensive for families. So I believe at, at a very personal level on transparency. I think folks need to understand what healthcare costs in order to make wise decisions for themselves and their loved ones. And so I believe in having a focus on the cost of health care and on the transparency that we as, as legislators can bring to that process by insisting that folks have the information they need to make sound health care decisions. What challenges do you see in Florida's K-12 through education system? And if elected, what would you do to address those challenges? I think we have a, a state system of K-12 through education that has come a very, very long way and still has a long way to go to being a really world-class system. Uh, I have a four-year-old son and a three-year-old daughter, uh, and I'd like to see them thrive in an environment that cultivates uh, them as whole people. And what I mean by that is I want them uh, to be ready to contribute uh, to the workforce and to have uh, an education that prepares them for careers, uh, but doesn't test them to death, uh, that doesn't uh, test them unnecessarily, that makes sure that we're evaluating their progress uh, in, in a way that pairs them to the opportunities I want my kids to have in the global economy. And so I believe in focusing our K-12 through reforms on uh, making sure we're testing the right amount and for the right purpose. Um, you know, a good friend of mine once said that if you can't measure it, you don't know whether it's a success or a failure. And I believe in measuring for what we want to measure. And that means growing true students, making them successful, giving them the tools they need to succeed, and not by testing them to death, but by making sure that they are, are able to function and contribute meaningfully to, to, to our economy. I'm John Curiel. I'm running to be your advocate in Florida House District 114. Come visit my website at www.johncuriel.com. Thanks.